again, less than 12 hours <clears throat> since I left the place last night to continue with this construction here, the cold room. So you can kind of see how much storage space we've got in there. So 24 casks here at the moment. If we put some more stackers on top, we can go 36. 36 in each compartment, and there are four compartments, which will each be individually controlled. Door on the front, cooler at the back, blowing cold air into each compartment separately to allow us to cool them independently. That's a good, really good idea, don't you think? Uh, so what I've got to do today is take this away. Check this out. So we've got a little bit of sway on the whole building. That's because all we've done is put the carcassing up uh, and it's just supported under its own weight. It doesn't have any diagonal bracing. So when you're working in construction, diagonal bracing is one of the most important pieces of the build because it prevents it from collapsing essentially under any load that you put on it. <clears throat> so you'll notice that as I was saying yesterday I'm going to make sure that this can take a bit of weight so you'll see that each of the uh, support rafters for the floor above are directly above a load bearing brace here and here and so on so that's going to take the weight of anything that we store up top to be quite honest it's going to be empty casks and a bit of timber it's not going to be a lot of weight anyway but we're doing this right so that's going to take the weight <clears throat> that's going to take the weight vertically from the top down and transfer it the load to the floor now if you put a lot of weight on there unevenly, it could scooch over to one side and collapse. So we're gonna now introduce diagonal braces along all of these here, almost like gallows brackets, uh, you might call them, but they are diagonal braces, top to bottom, so we transfer any sideways lateral load, we prevent that from happening. And then also on the front here, we're gonna try and incorporate some diagonal bracings here, but these can only be small in order for us to get the pallet in. So we're gonna use lots of them. Because they're gonna be small, we're gonna use more of them. And uh, hopefully that will prevent it from moving in that direction as well. Now the floor, or the roof, whichever way you wanna look at it, is gonna give us the diagonal bracing for the top. Once these ply boards are screwed down, this, that will prevent the top from scutching in a diagonal movement, but I don't think it will anyway. So that's what I'm going to do this morning. Once I've got this sorted, then uh, around lunchtime I'm going to shoot home, get ready for the beer festival and maybe put this vlog up. Because if I come home close to midnight tonight, I'm not going to have time to edit a vlog, which means that you guys won't be able to watch one. If you do, however, want to see how we get on, I'll be putting updates on either <clears throat> Instagram, Twitter or Facebook and the links to those are all in the doodly do below.
They almost look like dog kennels. We'll have to put chance in one of these overnight. So that's as far as I'm going to get now. I've just been informed that one of the trains that we were going to go on to Nottingham has been cancelled. So we have to leave an hour early. That means I have to leave to get changed and do this video now. Otherwise we're going to miss it. But that's as far as we've got folks. It looks pretty good for a couple of days work. I think we got a lot closer than I kind of anticipated we would to get in that cold room kind of finished so I'll just hoist you up and let you have a bit of a shot from above uh, above my head if you like to be able to see what we've got there we are she's a beauty I think she's gonna keep all of our casks of beer nice and cool just like we require so we're off to Hucknall chances are slim but we may be coming back with a prize Either way, we're going to have a good time, so we'll see you tomorrow. Remember, jump on the socials if you want an up-to-date uh, up update of who wins what. See you tomorrow.